Yes, queen, work! RuPaul's Drag Race has given us so many fabulous garments to pick from, but which of them really rise to the top? I'm just buzzing down the runway, feeling the fantasy. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down top 10 RuPaul's Drag Race outfits. Pinocchi Ho! And her daddy, Jopet Ho! <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. Zombie Glam by Sharon Needles. All right for Sharon Needles. Ooh, look at those eyes. If there's one winner that really left her mark on the drag scene, it's Sharon Needles. Her signature mix of irreverent spook and quirky camp was something nobody had ever seen before on Drag Race. She made a splash, or I guess splatter, right out of the gate with her zombie glam look in episode 1. Nosferatu Tutu. Oh, she's bleeding. Needles revealed a dirt-stained, skin-tight gown looking like she'd just crawl out of a grave to slay the runway, drenching the stage in blood and carving her way into our hearts. Anyone told her about fluoride toothpaste? Gingivitis never looks so good. Truly sickening. But really, are you sick, girl? You took it one step further and you didn't survive the apocalypse. <laughs> you came back to life to terrorize these bitches. <laughs> Number 9. Death Becomes Her by Violet Chachki. Violet Chachki! <gasps> oh my god. For the Death Becomes Her challenge, Violet really took the theme literally. She was serving death by corset, with the waist cinched so tight it practically left her and the judges gasping for air. She purportedly couldn't feel anything from the waist down, taking the idea that beauty hurts to the extreme, and showing us just how far she was willing to take it to win that crown. I'm numb from the waist down, tuck included. I really could die, bitch. I'm giving you realness. Of all the legendary drag Violet brought to the runway, and there was quite a lot, this one was absolutely to die for. She's got a smaller waist than Barbie. Oh, don't sneeze, honey. It's all gonna pop. Number 8. Day of the Dead by Jinx Monsoon. Jinx Monsoon. <gasps> Drag of the Dead. Even though it was clear from the start that Jinx knew how to crack a joke, I know this will be hard to believe, seeing as I'm the most polished, prettiest drag queen here. She had some real trouble with her looks. Week after week, she slayed the challenges, only to be criticized on the runway for her messy makeup and dusty dresses. Jinx, on the runway, I think you should have prepared more than one look. Every week I've done a different look. Bullshit. Jinx, she's all comedy and no glamour. There is no denying, however, that this look was a clear knockout. Her Day of the Dead sugar skull was a big risk for this camp queen, but you don't win Drag Race by staying safe. There's no closet big enough to hold this skeleton queen, okay? I feel fan fantastic, looking spooky and sexy all at the same time. You know, Jinx is like all the other supermodels, just skin and bone. Yeah. Number 7. Why Gotta Be Grey by Detox. The totally addictive Detox. No need to adjust your monitors, and this isn't a clip from the silent era. It's Detox's impressive makeup. Detox. Detox. When you walk down the runway, I do expect for the credits to start running for Gorillas in the Mist. <laughs> Detox lost the final lip sync for your life to the inevitable winner of her season. But when she donned this perfect monochrome illusion for the reunion, she made sure that no one would forget about her anytime soon. Why well, gotta be great? <laughs> um, well, it was a great day in Los Angeles when I got kicked off, so. Oh, okay. was it not? Nice? Yeah. Though the look featured a relatively simple black dress with flowing black hair, the mind melting makeup magic she featured just about snatched the wigs off everyone in the audience. Who should be crowned America's next drag superstar? Detox. <laughs> it was even used as inspiration for a later runway challenge in season 8. Yeah, it's a little black dress. Oh! Number 6 White Wings by Courtney Act. Next up, Courtney Act. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, heaven must be missing an angel. It doesn't take much to make this Aussie queen look flawless. And when the look was right, it was so right. The invitation said black tie only. Didn't say anything about pants, though. No. For her Animal Kingdom couture runway, Courtney channeled a little white dove, the religious symbol for the Holy Spirit. This look was the perfect meeting point of a Victoria's Secret runway and drag goddess Eleganza. Wow. Look at the size of those wings. Yes. Prepare for takeoff. With a 10-foot wingspan that covered the runway and an avant-garde face beat to perfectly complement the look, Courtney won the challenge and ascended into the Drag Race history books. I think I've died and gone to heaven. Uh -huh. yes. Baby, these girls are given production value. Okay. <laughs> Number 5. Pineapple Gown by Manila Luzon. Manila Luzon. Oh. 
Is that a bomb? Everybody down! <laughs> Manila Luzon knows a line between camp and glamour, and she sure knows how to walk it. From her bumblebee beauty look to her big bird look, her pineapple dress was a standout, featuring a perfectly crafted sequin-covered pineapple gown and matching clutch. I'm just swaying my hips and smiling and showing off my purse and having a gale time. It showed us all that looking stunning didn't have to mean taking yourself too seriously, and being campy didn't mean you have to look like Mimi I'm first. <laughs> Number 4. April Showers by April Carrion April Carrion April showers. Yes. It's too bad that April stumbled so hard in the challenges, because when it came to the runway, that queen knew exactly what she was doing. I am serving singing in the rain realness. I'm living for this outfit. When tasked with the runway best drag, April pulled off a look that featured her beauty and her brand with a jaw-dropping rainy day illusion. Alas, Drag Race is so much more than just runway looks, and April stuck around for a scant three episodes before succumbing to Trinity's lip-syncing skills. But thanks to this look, she'll always be remembered. The forecast is gorgeous. Make it rain, girl. Make it rain. Number 3. Modern Mary Antoinette by Raja Raja! Even from episode 1, it was clear that Raja would be the standout winner of her season. But did she really have to beat them all that badly? My name is Raja, so I can't do that. I'm way too rock and roll. Nearly all of her runway outfits were absolutely stunning, but this look in particular was the clear pinnacle of her on-point perfection. It's fashion week. There's yes, it is. Oh, yes. I'm really, really inspired by things where Coco and Marie Antoinette, all things sort of French. Let them eat cake. <laughs> her modern take on Marie Antoinette highlighted the exact kind of editorial beauty that she came to be known for. She let us eat the cake, and it was everything we needed to survive. Anna Winter will run that in the spring. Yes, yeah, even yeah, Gautier, yeah, remember who did that? We've got our cover. For sure. Number 2. Butterfly Goddess Look by Ivy Winters Ivy Winters! Wow! When it comes to drag race, a good rule of thumb is go big or sashay away. And this was by far the biggest look to ever hit the stage. Circus-trained Ivy Winters donned stilts and butterfly wings floating down the runway like a monarch butterfly. Now that's what I call stilettos. Being a circus queen, I decided to pull out my stilts and I did a butterfly goddess look. The vibrant colors, big hair, and outrageous style perfectly encapsulates classic drag showgirl style. And the look alone could be enough to ensure pride parade bookings for the rest of her drag career. Does anybody have a really big butterfly net? <laughs> but before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Trinity K. Bonet, the phoenix. She's awfully plucked tonight. Yes. Blame it on Bianca Del Rio. Oh, that's so romantic. Poof, there it is. I am serving up skunk Cinderella realness. Oh, dear. She's a lowrider. Check that out. <laughs> Dropping anchor. Land ho. Oh, my God. Number 1. Demon Queen by Violet Tchotchke Even when she was giving up the crown for the Season 8 winner, Violet made sure she'd forever be known as Queen of the Runway. The look combined the perfect elements of high fashion glamour and horror, with a deep emerald ball gown that featured her signature hourglass cinch and a flush crown growing right out of her head. This demonic look was so good, it cast a shade on Season 8 winner Bob's own look, immortalizing her in Drag Race Hall of Fame. Wow! Violet! Don't agree with our list? Yeah, honey, you better snap out of it. You're here. Play to win. What other sickening ensemble do you think deserve a second glance? For more gag-worthy top 10s, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. <laughs> <laughs>